Hi guys and welcome back to Chengi's World. Yes, yes. And today is a Boys Wednesday. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I know, I know. I am really trying to keep this up for you boys because I know that you secretly watch. I know that you know that this channel was primarily for women and pri and, and, and still fundamentally is. But I can see from my YouTube stats that there are a lot of guys that are watching my videos. And I, and, and whilst, um, I know that it might not be, uh, you know, for whatever, maybe just even just to check on the female conversation. But whilst you're here, why not? Why not do something for you guys too? Because I appreciate you and and, and I, I value you. And I really, really want you to learn something too. Because I am raising a son and I would like him to be wise. And I would like him to be safe. So I have a very healthy relationship with men. I love men because I have a son, because I had a father, and because I have a brother. And and any time I, I, I think about the information I'm giving to women, I always think to myself, what, what would I want for my brother? What would I want for my son? What would I want for my dad? Um, what, you know, what would I want for my uncles? So I have a love affair with men. So don't you worry. I am not a man hater whatsoever. So this video is really to address something that, that has been flying around for many generations and many years. And that really peeves me off. But I want you to know, guys, um, from me, uh, who who is worth taking some 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 advice from. I'll have you know that um, there's this myth. And before I go further, thank you so much if you're new to this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, uh, and share these videos with your friends because we are growing fast and furious, and we are going places here in Chengi's world. Look out for my book and uh, look out for my coaching, one-to-one uh, -one coaching sessions. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more information on that because I'm working very hard to get it ready because I wanna get some people married this year. I wanna get some people in serious, happy relationships this year and that could easily be you. So if you wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, email me, Chengi changisworld at gmail.com changisworld at gmail.com and when the program is ready we can have like an initial interview and I can I am going to be specific about who I work with unfortunately it won't be everyone and I don't have um, that many spaces or that much time to commit to too many people but we're going to start with five people and I'm going to work with you guys um, through the programs that, I, that I've put in place to bring it to the point where you are truly ready, prepared to, to meet and marry the person of your dreams. So this is, uh, this, is, this is just a little announcement. Okay, so one of the things that I've heard over and over that really peeves me off is that good guys finish last. And I know why that is said. I know why. I know because you know you you were the great guy you were the guy whose heart was pure who really wanted the girl wanted to make her happy um you were you were in the right place and right space and all that happened is that you got taken for a mug um and she took you for granted and probably used you abused you then chucked you and went for the bad boy who had his pants you know who was all kinds of wrong for her and you decided you know what being a good guy it doesn't pay and unfortunately, men come to that conclusion a lot sooner than women. We don't necessarily decide to become hoes because men have broken our hearts. Um, we, we tend to, um, to, to just kind of go about being who we were brought up to be. But I know that men can, can switch quite easily from being a good guy with a good heart um, to, to, to becoming um, bad boys or players. And that's because usually when you look at it, it's usually the, the, the bad boys that end up walking into the room with the beautiful women, that end up with all the women around them. But here's the thing, it's a short-sighted viewpoint because the reality is, take it from me, as I have journeyed through life, I have seen and observed and, and spoken to and seen that the bad boys always end up alone they always end up alone and delusional. I dated some guy who, who was in his 50s. And really, at the age of 50, you expect a man to have come to a level of maturity. But here's the thing. He spent his whole early life being a bad boy, playing women, taking them for granted, being silly. That by the time he got to a point where he wanted 
to have something real he just did not have the skills he didn't have the skills or the wherewithal or the age to attract the kind of caliber woman that he was able to attract when he was much younger so now the kind of women that will be interested in him are not going to be of the same and similar caliber so now he is alone going from place to place website to website trying to find a girl trying to find somebody right and that all comes down to um you know the the reality that you know they might good guys might finish last but they finish best if that makes sense i know so many great guys really nerdy kind of good guys and not some of them are not even nerds they're good looking but they're genuinely good who are married with kids and are happy right they have the life that the bad boy would like would want um and so what's happened is we've created a culture around you guys where if you're not bad, if you're not hot and cold, if you don't play the game, if you don't play a jerk, then you're not going to spike a woman's interest. And of course, there are multiple channels on YouTube that I've been on where coaches actually train men on how to play the game, you know, compliment her friend, ignore her, da, 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 be, and, and, and I'm sure they work on a psychological level. And the, yes, they might get you the pretty girl to shag, but even that girl, when she's ready to settle, when she's ready to be with a man, she's looking for the good guy. The reality of it is as women, we start off wanting the bad boy but we meet enough of them along the way and then we lose our appetite for them and what we then start to want is a good man who is good for us and what usually happens is the good guy would have gone bad in order to get the women so you're not there you're not at your station when we're ready for you let me tell you something I have dated guys who would shock you if I was to put their pictures on the screen right they would shock you because you think well, but what I was searching for was a good heart. I was searching for a good person and it didn't matter because as women, those of us who become wiser with age, because women can also be just as shallow and as stupid and, 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 and hurt and broken and, and think that all men want bitches, but that's not true. Um, you know, bitches don't always win the day. You know, I've, I've, I've heard, you know, you, you know, YouTube channels, I've been on YouTube channels where it's like, you know, hoes are winning, you know, mm, I don't think so. The thing is going, I always say speed is not arrival. Just because I'm going at a hundred miles an hour doesn't mean I'm going to arrive at my destination. Getting to the desk, I compare a good woman and a good man as somebody who is driving at at, at, at the speed limit somebody who is observing the laws of the road now there's always that other person in a Porsche or in a Lamborghini or in a Ferrari who just has to let everybody know that the rules don't apply to them who go past who run red lights who do all of those things but I can guarantee you that the chances of them arriving at their destination safe all the time are limited that person is not going to just if they arrive safe they're not going to arrive without a ticket they're not going to arrive without a penalty the reality of it is life is like that there are laws that govern the universe that, that that govern the universe and i say universe because god created the universe and he puts laws in the universe that govern it and he he does that so that he doesn't have to police everything so there are laws already in place that police life and when you go around life ignoring red lights, ignoring the rules of, of, of engagement, because the reality is there is a way that God wants us to engage with one another. There is an integrity, there's a dignity, there's an honor, and there's a way that God would have men deal with women and women deal with men. And when we decide to break those rules, when we decide that actually to serve myself right now in the place that I am, I am going to circumvent those rules, cause pain, into somebody else's life because I'm trying to, to, to circumvent those rules, then the reality of it is somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody is going to get hurt. And when that person is hurt, they're going to speak a word. They're going to say something. They're going to feel something that will create a curse in your life, that will create an obstacle in your life. Or because you must reap what you sow. This is where we think God is an idiot. Whatever, God will not be mocked. Whatever a man or woman sows, that 
also shall he reap the bad boys are going around messing around messing around playing games pulling bad cotton cold da, 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 da. and yes they're probably spending a lot of time sleeping with a lot of women that are dreamy but don't ever look at the external and decide you know what he's scoring and i'm still a virgin i'm gonna be a virgin till i'm 40 at this rate mm -mm. let me tell you something every single score he's making at the expense of another soul every tear that drops let me tell you something about spiritual things we we can be so ignorant of spiritual things because well the enemy would have us be so but i'm here to open your eyes right tears if we a woman a man that causes a man that causes a woman's tears to run those are prayers a woman that treats a guy any kind of way like he's nothing when he loves her truly sincerely and purely i am telling you i am telling you she will not come into anything until she repents until she goes to god until she prays until she goes to him and apologize there's some things that we have done to each other that until we open up and apologize and say you know what i messed up i'm so sorry i did that or we go to god and ask god to show us mercy we will not go free. Some of us think we're going free. We think we can sleep with that person, do this to this person, leave that person to cry. I've always said, if if my my tears, if 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 somebody does something to me that caused my tears to run, that is a prayer. And that acts as an obstacle in their life and in their path. And there's certain things they will never achieve or never accomplish. There's something that they will find in their lives will always block them. Not because I've consciously pronounced a curse, but because they have to. They have to reap what they have sown. And I have had to reap what I have sown. Trust me, when I was younger, in my 15 teens, you can read about it in the book. I was a good girl, but I was ruthless with men. I used to play, I used to be, I didn't think that men had emotions. And I paid, I, I had to reap that fruit in my 30s. I had to reap it in my 30s. And it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice until God said to me, but Chengi, you used to do that with no thought of how that person felt. Now it's being done to you. You know how to deal it, but you just don't know how to take it. Hmm? 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 And it wasn't God saying, I'm punishing you. God loves me and he, and, he, and he wants grace for me. But let me tell you something. You go around being honorable. You go around with integrity, treating every woman like she matters and she counts. Going and being honest in every way, shape or form. Being the best, giving your best. And let me tell you something, you shall reap what you sow. Because in your path, along your way, is some uber gorgeous, sexy mama jamma. I'm telling you, look, I've seen it. I have seen it. I have seen it. I have seen a man that nobody thought would even marry bring some supermodel looking hot thing into the room. And everybody's like, well, I've seen it. I have seen it. I have been there. I've witnessed it not just once, multiple times. Where you see the man and you see the woman and you think, what? Because that man has always treated every woman that he came. You must see every relationship you go into as a seed that you are sowing for your wife when she comes or the dream girl when she comes and presents herself. Because God will give you a woman you don't deserve. A woman that all of your peers are like, what? Because you have been honorable. So the lie that... Uh, good guys finish last we've got to we've got to end that because it's not based on reality good guys don't finish last they just don't finish last they they might finish last but they're gonna finish best it's all about how you finish and if you finish at all i like the whole finish last thing look good guys finish bad boys i am telling you people i can't i'm telling you from experience i'm telling you from spiritual wisdom and knowledge i'm telling you from what i have i do this this is what i do this is what i've done since i was five six since i have known i have counseled mar relationships marriages i have been there done that this is i'm not it's not my first day at the rodeo i have seen a lot and i am telling you that the good guys always end up with the life they always end up with a life that every bad boy running the streets hurting women's feelings is now trying to find too late in the day by the time a bad boy realizes that actually that i cannot reap the the fruit it's too late i see guys in church in their 50s in their 60s who messed 
one woman up who cheated on their wives who did who did who did who did i don't even need them to tell me they did it i can just tell that they've had to reap the fruit of what they did to some woman who was there for them who loved them who gave them children who was faithful they went and messed around and now they're in their 50s and in their 60s and they're trying to wink at the young girls in church or they're trying to 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 wink in they're going to clubs or it might not necessarily be in church but they might be going off in clubs and, and 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 trying to pull like younger guys but that day is gone and and whatever and now the options they have were the options that we're spitting on the women that they didn't find attractive are the ones that end up having to settle for because they're reaping what they sow so good guys don't finish last be that guy be that guy be that guy who's honorable who has integrity even if you're dealing with a hoe Okay, so that's from me to you saying good guys do not finish last is a lie from the pit of hell. And if you stay within your integrity, I'm telling you something incredible is coming your way. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of my world, gentlemen and ladies for watching this because I know you are. Make sure you leave a comment so that the boys know that what I'm saying is the truth.com. Okie dokie. Love you guys. Take care of you. Mwah.